Rebirth of the Strongest Empress, Chapter 5-7, Page 3. Chapter 5, and all the Engagement 1. Translator, Atlas Studios. Editor, Atlas Studios. Yi Shun held her fists tightly as she watched the Hunyuan pills being sent to Yi Ling. However, remembering what Duan Xian Rao said, all her worries were gone, and she smiled gently. How's Tang Tang these past few days? Duan Xian Rao's eyes flickered. It seemed that he was waiting for the right opportunity to open up. Yi Ling did not sense anything. He sighed and said, how could she feel all right after her spirit root was broken? The child is always very considerate. She never shows any signs of pain in front of me. It's very heartbreaking to see her in this state. Yi Ling raised his eyes and said to Duan Xian Rao, Xian Rao, you're Tang Tang's fiancé, and the two of you grew up together. It'd be great if you could spend more time with her. I'm sure she would be more relaxed. Duan Xian Rao smiled but did not respond directly. Yi Xun who was standing at the side lowered her head slightly. She pulled Duan Xian Rao's sleeve discreetly, and in response Duan Xian Rao gently patted her hand to comfort her. At the same moment, a skinny silhouette slowly entered the hall and greeted Yi Ling who sat on the main chair. Father. Seeing Yi King Tang, Yi Ling's eyes reflect a deep love and care. Tang Tang, you haven't recovered fully yet. Sit down first. Yi King Tang, who was wearing the veil, sat beside Yi Ling quietly. However, her eyes did not even look towards the direction of Duan Xian Rao, who sat below. Yi Ling did not notice how indifferent Yi King Tang was towards Duan Xian Rao. He smiled and pointed towards the things on the table to show Yi King Tang. Tang Tang, all these are given by Xian Rao to help you recover. He even brought you and pills for you. He truly does care for you. Yi King Tang's took a glimpse towards the tonics stacked on top of each other like a mountain on the table. She then glanced at Duan Xian Rao who sat below. Her sight was extremely cold without any expression of fascination or gratitude. Thank you, young Master Duan, for your effort. Yi King Tang spoke lightly. Young Master Duan? The other three all froze for a second. In the past when Yi King Tang met Duan Xian Rao, she always called him Brother Duan. Why did she distant herself today? Duan Xian Rao frowned slightly. However, remembering the purpose of his visit today, he did not bother anymore. Yi Ling thought that Yi King Tang was in a bad mood as her spirit root was broken, so he also did not bother to find out the reason. You will be 16 years old in half a year's time. I think we can proceed with your marriage with Xian Rao. When you feel better, I'll discuss your marriage with the master of the Duan family clan. Is that fine? Yi Ling did not initially intend to have Yi King Tang marry so soon, but now that her spirit root was broken, it was very unlikely for her to have any improvement in Wushu. The Yi family had already been controlled by the Great Elder, and even as the master of the family clan, he no longer held much power. It would be better for Yi King Tang to marry Duan Xian Rao early. He would be more relieved knowing that Duan Xian Rao would be able to take care of her. The faces of the three people who were present suddenly changed upon hearing what Yi Ling said. Especially for Yi Shun, her body stiffened, and Duan Xian Rao's facial expression darkened. Only Yi King Tang still sat properly on the chair. Her sight was cold, and she was sharp enough to capture the changes in Yi Shun and Duan Xian Rao. Uncle Yi, Duan Xian Rao stepped forward suddenly. Today, I came over to tell you about something. Chapter 6, and all the engagement too. Translator, Atlas Studios. Editor, Atlas Studios. Yes? What is it? Yi Ling asked. Duan Xian Rao remained silent for a while and said, Besides visiting Tang Tang, I came here today for another reason. It's because, I think the marriage between Tang Tang and I should be annulled. The smile on Yi Ling's face disappeared immediately after Duan Xian Rao finished his sentence. Xian Rao, what do you mean by that? Duan Xian Rao took a breath and decided to confess everything. I grew up together with Tang Tang so, of course, we are close with each other. However, I can only view her as my sister and not as a couple. I have told my father about it, and he also agrees that we should not push for such a marriage. Hence, I'm here today to annul the engagement Duan Xian Rao said. What Yi Ling slammed his fist loudly on the table. He stared at Duan Xian Rao in anger. You want to annul the engagement? Do you know what you are talking about? Yi Ling was furious. The engagement between Duan Xian Rao and Yi King Tang was made when they were young, and everyone in Lin Town knew about that. Now, Duan Xian Rao wanted to annul the engagement. If the news spreads out, his daughter would be viewed as a joke in other people's eyes. Duan Xian Rao had already made up his mind. 
He stared at Yi Ling who was raging and carried on. Uncle Yi, a few days ago, my father had confirmed that I would be the heir of the Duan family clan. I will become the master of the clan, and my wife will be the mistress of the Duan family. Duan Xian Rao looked towards Yi King Tang in her veil. His sight showed a sense of aversion. Tang Tang never shows her real face to others. Furthermore, her spirit root was broken and she can't improve her washu anymore. Duan family is one of the three great family clans in Lin Town. The mistress must be able to take on heavy responsibilities. The Tang Tang now, I fear, is not suitable for this role anymore. Duan Xian Rao sounded very pleasant and logical, but every word he said to Yi Ling pierced his heart like a sword. Duan Xian Rao, do you know what you just said? Your engagement with Tang Tang was confirmed long ago. Now you want to annul it. Yi Ling reproached. Duan Xian Rao frowned and raised his eyes slightly. Uncle Yi, I did have an engagement with Yi King Tang. However, what kind of spirit root did she have back then, and what kind is it now? Uncle Yi, you really want me to marry a woman who has no spirit root and no appearance? Yi Ling trembled with anger. He never expected that Duan Xian Rao was this kind of person. Duan Xian Rao did not change his mind at all even after witnessing Yi Ling's anger. He turned and looked towards Yi King Tang, who remained silent all along. Tang Tang, I think I treated you fairly enough in the past. Now, you should think from my perspective. Even though others in the town said you were extremely ugly, I didn't request to annul the engagement back then. However, now that your spirit root is broken, do you still want to marry me forcefully? How am I supposed to explain this to the Duan family? I can tolerate it if my wife is ugly, but I can't bring a useless mistress for the Duan family. Every word that came out of Duan Xian Rao hurt. From the beginning to the end, he only valued Yi King Tang's spirit root. When Yi King Tang had the supreme grade spirit root, he could tolerate her ugliness. However, now that her spirit root was destroyed, why did he still need to accept her? Yi Ling stood up in anger and roared. Duan Xian Rao, shut up. I was blind to allow the engagement between you and Tang Tang. I never knew you that you were this kind of abhorrent person. Chapter 7, and all the Engagement 3. Translator, Atlas Studios. Editor, Atlas Studios. Uncle Yi, you're also the master of your family clan. Is there anything wrong with what I just said? Duan Xian Rao finally removed the entirety of his disguise. He knew long ago from Yi Shun that the Great Elder was the one with power and that Yi Ling was only the master of the family clan only in name. You, Yi Ling trembled with rage. Yi Shun who was standing aside stepped forward. A slight smile appeared on her face, but she quickly disguised it with an expression full of concern. Father, please do not be angry. Do not be angry? How can I not be angry? Yi Ling questioned. Yi Shun looked at the tall and strong Duan Xian Rao gently and said, Young Master Duan has his own reasons. As the next family master, he needs to care for the prestige of the family. Father, I hope you will understand. Tang Tang is still young. She will be able to find a good husband in the future. What did you just say? Yi Ling stared at her adopted daughter unbelievably. He could not believe that she would speak up for Duan Xian Rao. Yi Shun stared at the furious Yi Ling and then looked towards Yi King Tang, who had not spoken at all. She took out the Hunuan pills that Duan Xian Rao gave her and handed them over to Yi King Tang. Tang Tang, young master Duan cares for you. He even brought the Hunuan pills to help you recover, Yi Shun said as coldness sparkled in her eyes. She was very sure that Yi King Tang loved Duan Xian Rao and that she definitely would not agree to the annulment. Yi King Tang would not accept the Hunuan pills. She might even beg Duan Xian Rao to keep the engagement. Eventually, the Hunuan pills would return to Yi Shun's hands. Even though Yi Shun held such beliefs, she still pretended to persuade Yi King Tang sweetly. Yi King Tang stared at Yi Shun coldly, watching her fake concern. She smiled coldly in her heart. Yi King Tang saw through Yi Shun's actions and could read her thoughts. In her previous life, Yi King Tang was exactly the type of person Yi Shun thought she was. When she knew that Duan Xian Rao wanted to annul the engagement, not only did she reject the tonics and Hunuan pills that Duan Xian Rao gave her, but she also begged him not to abandon her, throwing away her dignity and pride. She did not care about the prestige of Yi family and Yi Ling, and she had placed herself in an inferior position. Yi Ling even vomited blood as he was too furious. However, this time, suddenly, a smile appeared on Yi King Tang's lips. Just as Yi Shun was feeling very confident of her analysis, Yi King Tang extended her arm and took over the Hunuan pills. 
Then I will thank young Master Duan for his kindness. She then placed the Hunuan pills into her own space ring, a dimensional storage item. The whole process happened smoothly. While Yi Ling was still enraged, Yi Qingtang suddenly spoke up for the first time. Father, I think young Master Duan has a point as well. The three people in the hall were all taken aback by Yi Qingtang's words. Duan Xian Rao stared at Yi Qingtang in surprise. He thought that the moment he asked to annul the engagement, Yi Qingtang definitely would be crying and begging. He did not expect that she would say such words. Yi Ling was also dumbfounded. He looked at his daughter with great concern as he was scared that she was too upset by the news. Tang Tang, what, what did you say? Yi Qingtang sat on the chair and stared at the three astonished people. She said slowly, as a girl, of course I understand it is embarrassing for my engagement to be annulled. However, since young Master Duan is the heir of the family master, it's understandable that he needs to focus on the prestige of his family. I am not suitable to be the mistress of the Duan family.